Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video we will have a look at the latest version of the popular micro radio. Uh, this time this is the manufacturer M Volt made in China like the original one that I have here. So there is quite an update on uh, this version. Uh, not only by the software that is on it, of course you can download and upgrade uh, the software on those radios, but also on the build quality, uh, they made some technical uh, changes inside the radio, uh, like a louder, more powerful uh, speaker. Uh, we also see the knob, the main knob is uh, bigger than on the older one, uh, the knobs are only uh, stuck onto it, clamped on, you can easily remove them. So that is not that much of a point, but it already comes with a bigger knob, so it's sure easier. And um, the most important uh, part on the optical side is that we now have actually a molded case. So it's not 3D printed, they had versions with that red print on it that were uh, 3D printed but this one is actually molded so they made a, a mold also for the switch so those parts are now really uh, better and nicer looking than it was by the 3D printed originals we see the, the gaps and all that now uh, how you spot the, the difference uh, we see here the texturing and the shininess of the of the part of the bottom uh, that is often on the front as well as we have it here and we see here the whole thing is a uh, flat and smooth also on the back side nice smooth so uh, that is easy to spot plus we have here the grooves uh, so you can easily hold it in your hand so that is optically the difference uh, again they sell those uh, versions on a printed 3d printed just with the red uh, printing on it so it's a bit uneasy to see uh, if what you get if you get the correct one or not that is how that is so this version came in a pretty big uh, box so we have there some information uh, unfortunately uh, this uh, radio is manufactured or assembled in China with different uh, by different companies by different people so you never know exactly what you're gonna get what kind of version so this one came in a nice boxing uh, we had the regular antenna, now this one is, I would say, about uh, 20 mm shorter than the antenna that came with the original wo version. Uh, the, you have the same connector, so it's replaceable to whatever antenna you want to have. This one is just a bit less long than the other one. Then it came with that on volt uh, donut antenna uh, those antennas are relative new and uh, yeah the same part here to put it on the radio we have the, the frequency range i did not test out that antenna that much because it's bigger i mean bolder and bigger than the radio and i'm more easily able to transport a pencil like antenna like this instead of of uh, the big one but that's me uh, maybe some people like you are uh, gonna try that and test it out a bit more then we have the usual charging cable and we have a bit uh, manual it's just a card with some information and you can always stop the video to uh, see a bit more of the detail. 
Now the size of the radio of the housing is exactly the same like with the old one. So if you have a 3D printed uh, radio stand you can always use the one that fit on the older one. Uh, we just have a little bit uh, different rounded off edges but that is peanuts. Uh, we also see the the screen looks slightly bigger, just slightly on top there. Is it a little bit bigger? It's it's not much, it's maybe two millimeters on top there. And uh, the rest is pretty much the same. We have still the antenna jack. We have the charging port on this side. We have the headphone jack. The bottom is smooth and on this side we have the on off switch. Uh, in this case the on off switch is black. Uh, you can always mark it a bit like with a silver or gold uh, permanent marker. Uh, by the 3D printed it is blue. So that is a bit easier to, to uh, find or switch on if you don't know or feel where it is. Again the 3D printed switch is blue, the black one is also injection molded, so quite an quite a upgrade in that regards. Then from the technical standpoint it uses the latest uh, program, the latest software on it, so that I would say uh, alone with the easy uh, possibility to search up and down uh, that is already a good upgrade. I'm gonna quick uh, put it on and show you. So as we see here we need to be careful about music because uh, YouTube doesn't like that. So what we see here first is the green color. That's one of the parts that we can uh, change compare to the old one and we need to quick put the volume a bit down from the old one so we see the layout is different this one still has the older program this has the newer program and we can uh, change by this one the colors on the item I'm gonna quick show that. So we press the button and then we go to through the menu there and I think it was settings and not only the brightness we can change but the theme and here we have the different ones uh, I had it on space, then we have Mangenta, reddish, default, just black like the original, blue sky, elk, 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 pager, orange, night, a red one, phosphor, and then back to space. Uh, to put it on you simply press it and then it's on. So that is a optical really nice change. Then we go back again. We go uh, to the step to the seek. So now we have this one and then we simply go on that one on the knob either on the right side or on the left because of the 160 uh, there is not much on it so it doesn't move by itself but it would go on both ways you simply switch a bit over and then it moves in that direction and search the, the automatically the next uh, signal and stops there and you can then move it a bit further so really nice 
uh, a really nice upgrade. This alone is worth it to uh, change uh, the program and put it from this to this. So uh, my old one gonna quite likely get upgraded with that new program there. I just wanted to show quick uh, basically the molded case so that we have now not, no longer a 3D printed uh, version but uh, one that actually looks like a serious radio. And uh, so far as I test out the new version that works really well and uh, no problem on this version again. Uh, some people because of the different uh, companies in China that assemble those uh, radio from parts uh, had trouble with theirs but so far we have three pieces in uh, testing and all of them did work out uh, really well no problem at all there. Then what is important for using those radios is the antenna uh, either uh, this, this or uh, you can easily get a cable an adapter and then the correct adapter for whatever uh, antenna uh, you use. That is our days uh, easier available. Different length of the cable if you need a longer cable that is possible too. So the main hype around those radios did quite likely uh, go a bit down but with this upgrade on the case and the colors the scanning etc and some some quite some other upgrades on the program it would be for sure worth it to update the older versions if you have that that's gonna happen with this one and if you did never buy one yet so look out for a possible a sale of that new version there now is that radio gonna be worth it uh, that depends if you have a EDC bag, a go bag, uh, just light equipment, uh, that would be a perfect radio uh, to have with you uh, basically all the time because you can listen uh, to uh, all the bands and even side bands. You can adjust it now for uh, side bands as well, the lower and higher uh, and upper side bands. So you can not only listen to the local radio stations, in case of emergency, in case uh, something bad happened, uh, that would be possible. Uh, it's so easy and lightweight to transport. You just need to have a, a bit uh, a case uh, for protecting it from the water and the elements, uh, basically with a bit form, but uh, like in a in a pelican case or something like that. Uh, they make those cases our days in all kinds of sizes, and. Uh, Important is that it has uh, not only the strength if you drop it uh, with the padding in it, but also that it is water tight, so it has a rubber seal on the lid, so that the item actually gonna be sealed. And then such a radio could be really easy part of your everyday life and and uh, travel. Uh, a similar solution would be the. Countycom radio that is a, a rebranded version of the Texan still one of the, the best uh, radios also used by the US government uh, but of course it is already way bigger if we look the, the size at those uh, that radio there we have it uh, in a way bigger way more uh, bulky size and that bulkiness of course translate then also to a bigger uh, like pelican case for uh, correct transport and storage uh, it is how it is uh, of course uh, the Texan version from County Com gonna last quite likely way uh, longer than a cheaper uh, Chinese made uh, version of that radio on the other side you could even uh, have two of the little micro radios and uh, still would not have had the size of uh, the bigger uh, Texan County Com. Uh, it is how it is. Another possibility would be the 330. Also from Texan it's relatively compact 
and they are lightweight you can also use the, the side bands and so on so it depends it really depends uh, but if you are walking if you are on foot and uh, you have a little backpack or something uh, this would be the this would be the version that I would carry and uh, unfortunately so far they did not offer yet uh, durable cases directly with the form in it so you need to make uh, something for yourself uh, especially also to protect the antenna uh, by the by the Texan uh, county comb version just saying this one is a uh, stainless steel and uh, the regular ones are usually brass and then nickel uh, plated so this one would break or bend uh, way uh, faster than the county comb one on the other side this is screwed on so you can replace it relatively easy uh, with a with a new one if that is is a uh, still available and in stock and all that the county comb one is uh, fixed inside the, the radio so it all depends on what you want to do that's pretty much all what I wanted to say in this video so the evolution of the, the little micro radio is still going on and uh, yeah hopefully one day the prices uh, drop a bit more the new one is unfortunately as best as I saw about $70 now and uh, yeah at least it came with two antenna and the, the bigger cardboard box and all that but uh, yeah the, the county comb one and the uh, PL330 you need to calculate about 95 to, to 110 dollars for sure as well so it is how it is and yeah that much about the latest version of that micro radio.